Welcome to the wax there. My name's April. So I have my Scentsy Envies. And you guys, I got through quite a bit of wax this week. This is from Friday to Friday. There are quite a few bars in here and a lot of them were some major favorites. So let's just go ahead and jump on in. First things first is I did get through a couple of the cotton balls and these were great. One thing is that Scentsy is getting rid of their large uh, Scentsy cotton cleanups, but they are going to be replacing them with a smaller version cotton cleanup. And they're supposed to fit into your element warmers and mini warmers a little easier. I do believe there's still going to be 25 in the package, uh, but they're just going to be a little smaller size and they're only going to cost $6. So I'm really excited to see how those are going to be. Um, let's go ahead and jump on in with the wax. So this is toasted caramel sugar. Set notes are warm milk, caramelized sugar, toffee, and a vanilla musk. This is a current bring back my bar, but it is going away at the end of the month. So if you love it, club it. If you haven't tried it and you want to get those orders in because pretty soon you're not gonna be able to get these. So this was really nice. This is a really delicious caramel toffee vanilla scent. That's, that's what my nose picks up. It's a decent performer. It's not super strong out the gate, but I do find that this scent kind of builds up over, over the day and it is a, a good performer. Um, long lasting, I love it. I did end up putting this one in my Scentsy Club and it's just a really nice bakery vanilla kind of a scent. Next is Frozen to the North Calls. Scent notes are berry, grapefruit, lily of the valley, and a touch of marine. So this is a scent that's not typically in my wheelhouse, but I actually really do like this one. Yeah, so it is a definite aquatic with a little tiny hint of floral and a little tiny hint of fruitiness. This was really nice. I put this one in my hallway bathroom over a couple days and it did great. It was just a nice, clean, very fresh kind of a scent. But again, without being too cleaner, too floral, too fruity, just really nice, beautiful scent. Um, not a scent that I would necessarily club, but I did pick up six bars when this was last available and that should last me a while, but I do really like that scent. Okay, next up is Frosted Vanilla. This is currently available in the Fall Winter Catalog and the scent notes are Sweet Vanilla Bean, Birch Bark, and Frosty Air. I love the scent. Oh, it's so good. It's definitely like a, a frosty, not mint, but just think fresh, crisp, cool mountain air with a little tiny bit of mint and a little tiny bit of gentle white birch bark in the background. Beautiful. I kind of am a little concerned that this one might not make it back to the catalog next year. So if you love it as much as I do, maybe consider clubbing it or stocking that because who knows what Sensi is going to do. But I, for one, am going to club that one in my quarterly club. It's just a really nice scent, um, especially for when you just want something clean and refreshing and just really pretty. Okay, this one is Thunderstorm. Set notes are very refreshing, sharp and spicy, just like the breeze in a storm. Super interesting notes. I really like this. It is a form of bring back my bar. It's a very unique scent to my nose and look at how juicy it is. Uh, this one was from, gosh, two years ago. And let me tell you, it was still a fabulous thrower. Really nice. I put this in my warmers during a really stormy day here in sunny California. <laughs> um, this is beautiful. And I actually put this one with this scent, which is ocean. And that is cool and refreshing aquatic notes, water lilies and sea and ocean breezes. I put these in alternating warmers throughout my living room and my kitchen. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. Um, they're both great on their own, but together even better. Oh, so nice. These were both available in a bring back my bar together and I had them in my club for a hot minute and I took it out. I think I have a couple more bars of the thunderstorm, but I am totally out of ocean. They are fan favorites for, for a lot of people. So hopefully we'll see these ones come back again. Those would definitely be a repurchase. Okay. Next up is a favorite of mine and that is bonfire beach. 
Set notes are toasted marshmallow, sandalwood, white flint, salty sea air, and ocean spray. Now this is in the spring summer catalog and typically it comes back year after year. It's super popular. We should find out in a few days that so this one's gonna make it back into the catalog. I love it. Oh, it's so good. So I definitely pick up a lot of that toasted marshmallow and salty sea air, the little bit of like white flint just wafting in the background. It's like you're at the beach in the middle of summer on a cool evening and you have a bonfire going and it, it is lovely. I love this scent. I really do hope it comes back. In the spring summer catalog, I do have it in my Scentsy Club just in case, but man, I think if this one doesn't come back, people are going to be mad and upset. Um, it's great, and it's a really good performer, and that's really a scent that I could warm year-round. Okay, next up is Cherry's Jubilee. So scent notes are black cherry, raspberry, and zesty lemon, and we were introduced to this earlier this fall slash winter. And it's a nice scent. I do currently have it in my Scentsy Club, but you guys, I think I might take this one out. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't know. It's nice. It's a very fruity, juicy cherry. And I think that maybe is what I don't like the most about it. It's not a very bakery cherry. Um, I prefer maraschino sugar cookie. I prefer apple, apple cherry strudel a little bit more. Um, so yeah, this one, Maybe it's more of a summer scent. Maybe I'm gonna make a mistake if I remove it from my club, but I don't know, you guys. Um, honestly hope that Red, White, and Berry Pie comes back to the spring summer catalog. Maybe Sensi's gonna throw us the bone. Um, if it does, then I'll for sure take this one out. But if this one's on the chopping block and it's kind of leaning towards maybe getting the chop. So stick around to see uh, my Scentsy Club edit and we'll see what happens. Okay, next up is Cozy Kitchen and the scent notes are brown sugar, warm oats, and cinnamon. And this is a nice scent. You definitely get the oats, but it's kind of spicy and I, that has to be the cinnamon. Brown sugar is just adding some extra sweetness. It's nice. It's a good performer. It is in my Scentsy Club, but again, almost like Cherry's Jubilee, I don't know if it's going to stay. I prefer, I think, Crumb Top a little bit more or Churro Churro. They're not exactly the same, but kind of along the same wavelength, and those are both in my club. So this one is potentially going to get the Chop Chop for my Scentsy Club. Not sure yet, but again, stick around and find out because I don't even know what I'm going to do with that one. But it's nice if you don't have those other bars. Um, well, you can't get that one anymore, so I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, next up is Love and Happiness, and the set notes are glazed chestnut, vanilla, and sugar cane, and this was from a Bring Back My Bar in 2022, and I know that Patricia Gates from Patricia G Nose to Toes loves the scent, and you guys, I freaking love it too, and I was an idiot. I took it out of my Sunsea Club. I think I have one bar left. And I really wish I could get this one back in my club. It is beautiful. It's a romantic, beautiful, sultry, sexy kind of a scent. Now, I don't know if it's bakery or if it's body care or kind of a combo of both, but it is so unique, a great performer, and yeah, it's a sensey heartbreak for me. So I'm gonna cherish and relish that last bar I have and cross my fingers that maybe we'll get it back sometime. Okay, next up is Disney's uh, Stitch 626, and the scent notes are Valencia Orange, Pineapple Nectar, Sugar Cane, and Sea Salt. And this is a really nice kind of tropical fruity scent. Yeah, it's unique enough that I keep this one in my club, even though it tends to come back almost year after year. I'm just afraid that Scentsy is going to just, you know, one year just not bring it back. So this one is in my Scentsy club. I love it. It's going to stay in there. I've made the mistake of taking it out before I'm panicking, so I'm just gonna keep that one in there just in case since he doesn't bring it back. Okay, next up is pink leather, and the scent notes are wild strawberry, toasted vanilla, and pink leather, and this was a scent of the month in August of 2023, and this is a really beautiful scent. Yes, you definitely get like a sweet leather, almost like a suede kind of a scent, with like lots of vanilla undertones and the strawberry does come out but it all blends together so nicely it's more of a body care kind of a scent i really really like this one 
Currently it, it is on my Scentsy Club. I think it's gonna stay, but I don't know. Um, but so far I am loving it and yeah, it's a beautiful scent, it's a decent performer and it's unique. So, so far so good, that one's gonna stay. Okay, next up is Caramel Vanilla Delight. Set notes are vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. And this was from my Bring Back My Bar in um, 2022. And this is actually a lovely vanilla caramel scent. And the rum, you actually do pick up that rum. And typically, I don't like a lot of Scentsy's uh, boozy kind of notes, but they did a really good job with this one. It's not at my club anymore, and I'm kind of kicking myself because... When I warmed it last time, um, earlier this week, it was, it was just heavenly. So not in my club. I think I might have one or two more bars left, but that is definitely something that I would repurchase again if it were available. Okay, next up is Shamrock Splash, and this is the scent of the month for February. Scent notes are Juicy Tangerine, Red Strawberry, and Jasmine Blossom, and I did do a more in-depth video review of this, and it's a really nice fruity scent. Yes, you definitely get that tangerine, maybe a little tiny bit of the strawberry, but mostly that zesty, sweet, slightly tart tangerine. I don't get any of the jasmine blossom whatsoever. Um, this is nice. Not a club bar for me, but definitely one that I enjoyed warming, and I would pick this one up again. Really nice if you like those fruity, kind of springy kinds of scents. Okay, next up is a favorite of mine, and that is aloe vera and ivy. Set notes are cool aloe vera, ivy, and watery melon. This one is just magical to me. Oh, it's so good. The watermelon in here is just a sweet, juicy, ripe, authentic kind of watermelon. The ivy just kind of adds a little slight, beautiful green note to it. And the cool aloe vera just kind of cools it all down. I love this one. It's juicy and sweet. Um, it's perfect for if you want to kind of palette cleanse your house. I love this one. It is in my Scentsy Club, and that's one that's always gonna stay in my Scentsy Club because I just don't know if we're ever gonna see that one come back. Okay, next up is Sugar. Oh, this one is so good. It's Lemon Drops and Cotton Candy. I love this one, and I could warm it year-round in any room of my house. Oh, it's so good. It's a really good performer. It's like Aqualina's Pink Sugar. It's sweet, it's bright, it's beautiful. It's a little, uh, a little tiny sexy. I like it, so that one is in my club. It's kind of along the lines of Pink Haze. Um, let me see what else, maybe a little bit shimmer. It's beautiful and that will always stay in my club. And, oh, and one thing to note with that one is that it typically comes back quite often and bring back my bars, but since he changed the rules, so I think it might be a little while before we see that one come back. Okay, next up is Around the Campfire. And this one is, is a very unique scent. Scent notes are Mountain Air, Fresh Fallen Woods, and Smoky Embers. Now, I actually feel like I get a toasted marshmallow out of this. Yeah, it is very toasty, but I love it. This is a scent that kind of grew on me. And I feel like the longer that the bar ages, the sweeter that the scent gets. It's beautiful. I actually mixed this one with that um, pink leather. Somebody requested it, I don't remember who, or not requested, but came up with that concoction and it was lovely, it was beautiful. So really nice. I do have this one in my Scentsy Club um, for when the catalog season ends this, gosh, like next month because I don't know if that one's gonna come back. So. It's, it's gonna stay safe in my club. Okay, next up is Mahalo Coconut, and I do know a lot of people love this scent. The scent notes are Hawaiian Lay, Violet, Fruity, uh, Fresh, it's Fruity, Fresh, Pineapple. That's what it says. Okay, that was, I don't know why that was so hard to say. <laughs> and yeah, it is um, a kind of tropical floral kind of a scent, a little tiny bit of fruit, but mostly it's floral to my nose. This one might not come back, you guys, in the spring summer catalog. There were several items that were in the clearance item section. So I don't know. We'll see if this one makes it. I know it's a fan favorite of so many. Not really for me, just because I'm not into this kind of floral scents, but I do hope it comes back for everybody who loves that one. Okay, next up is one that is so beautiful, and that is Manila Walnut. It is a current Bring Back My Bar. 
and the scent notes are toasted walnut and vanilla bean and that is exactly what you get it is a beautiful vanilla sweet creamy rich and then that toasted walnut just oh, kind of elevates it so nicely there's a little bit of nuttiness i love this one it is in my scentsy club and yes i have a lot of vanilla scents in there because i am a vanilla girl so really nice good performer still available for a few days okay next up is cashmere corduroy oh, i love this this is creamy vanilla sicilian bergamot and cashmere sandalwood and this is in the wood section of the current catalog and it is just beautiful oh it's just like a beautiful woman and she's walking by and she just smells perfect I love this one. This is going to go into my Scentsy Club at the end of the season because even though it's popular, I don't try Scentsy to bring this one back. I think it, I don't know. I just, it's popular, but I would be heartbroken without that one. So she's going to go safe into my club. All right, next up is Sunburst Bamboo. And this was a scent of the month in February of 2022. And the scent notes are Sunburst Bamboo, Crisp cucumber, eh, cucumber, and Peony. Wow, that was a tongue twister for me. <laughs> and yeah, I love this one. Uh, the bars do just color, but I haven't found that it uh, affects performance at all. I love this one. I kind of wish I would have clubbed it. It definitely gives me the white tea cactus vibes but it's just so nice when you throw this in your warmers and your house is clean and it just smells fresh and clean and beautiful. So I love that one. Love it on a cool rainy day. I think I have a few more bars um, and that would definitely be a repurchase if I could pick that one up again. Okay, next up is one that was kind of disappointing. Uh, this is Black Raspberry Vanilla. Scent notes are dark berries and vanilla and this is a scentsy staple. It comes back year after year, all the time, like forever but I don't know it's just okay to me yeah it's vanilla and dark berries it's just nothing special it's a decent performer but it just doesn't wow me so I don't even know why I bought that one but I did <laughs> I, I don't know I probably wouldn't pick that one up anymore okay next is one that actually surprised me and that is iridescent pearl scent notes are ripe juicy mango Apple Blossom, Tranquil Water, Lotus. This was beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. It's not the strongest performer, but in a small space, it's just, it's magical. It's, it's like a sweet, clean, spa-like scent. I love it. Um, I really wish I would have picked up a few more bars. Hopefully we'll see this one come back again, but yeah, since see took it out of the catalog last year okay let's see i do have a couple pods in here that i got through we can talk about those this one is vanilla mint i have two pods here that i put in my air purifier and i love this one it's a great scent i have it in um, my scentsy club in wax form it's like frozen citrus vanilla and a little bit of mint it's beautiful performed really really well um, got through a candy cane buttercream. So I actually love the scent in wax. It's just super light for me, but it didn't do too bad in the pods. And it was new to pods this year. Um, really nice. This is actually one that I would pick up again in pod form. Really, really good. Um, and then next up is lemon drizzle cake. And I actually have this one in my air purifier right now. And this is great. It smells a lot like the wax can't smell it in here, but it smelled a lot like the wax form and I like the wax form. So that did really well. It's been in for a few days now and it's still doing great. Uh, let's see. I got through a little tiny bit of vendor wax and I'll quickly go through those. This one is banana bake and this is from Kay's Scented Wax Melts. And the scent notes are banana nut bread, banana flambe, and zucchini bread. I really, really enjoyed this banana. Yeah. It's one of the more authentic kind of bananas. I think it's because of the bananas flambe with that zucchini bread together. Just kind of tones down the Laffy Taffiness and just really made this nice. Um, really enjoyed that one. I would repurchase that. Um, Cam Jack Wax. This is a new to me vendor and this was Luminous Vanilla Honey and it's acacia honey blended with an upscale vanilla. I cannot tell you how good this one was. It's a good performer. 
It was just the most amazing honey vanilla scent. So unique. That one would be a repurchase. Super yummy. Uh, next up, oh, one of my favorites from Dessa's Homespun Scents. This is Fresh Bread and Jam, and it's crusty fresh bread and strawberry jam. It's a house blend of hers. I have a loaf of this and I have several breakaway bars. I freaking love this one. She has the best um, fresh baked bread scent. So really, really good. Would definitely be a repurchase and it's a great performer. I could smell it so strongly throughout my whole house. Um, this is from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Ross and Rachel and Jill. So sad that she's closed up shop. Scent notes are strawberry pound cake, yellow cake, zucchini bread and raspberry jam. One of the best strawberry jam, raspberry jam scents I've ever smelled in my life. So good. I think I have 10 more of these tile um, shapes and I'm going to savor those. Okay, next up is I Heart Vanilla Backberry, Blackberry <laughs> from Teddy Bees. And this was really nice. So when I first got this one, it smelled kind of light on cold. I let it sit maybe about four months put it in my warmers and it did great. Not a super long lasting scent, not a super strong scent, but really nice and beautiful in a bedroom. So I really, really enjoyed this one. Um, I would definitely pick that one up again. I think I am a fan of her I Heart Vanilla scents. They just smell so good. Uh, next up is from Kay's. This is Strawberry White Cake. And I think this one was in a strawberry sampler she had. Set notes are vanilla cake and sweet strawberries. And this was nice. I'm not sure I would repurchase this one again, but it, it was decent. A fairly good performer, but not my most favorite strawberry scent. Um, and then finally, we have Muse from Swanky. This was in one of her um, lavender samplers. Scent notes are, let's see, uh, lavender, vanilla, lavender, marshmallow, pink sugar, and warm vanilla sugar. Wait, lavender marshmallow, pink sugar, and warm vanilla sugar. There. <laughs> Again, the writing was kind of hard for me to read on there. This was amazing. I love it. I think I have a loaf of this, and it would definitely be a repurchase. It's, it's a beautiful lavender, sweet lavender with that vanilla and the pink sugar. So good. And I know Summer Michelle loves the scent, too. So that is it, you guys. That's what I got through this entire week. I feel like I did fairly good. Um, what I've been doing is I fill up all of my Scentsy warmers in my house with, you know, my Scentsy wax. I have seven warmers in my office. I think I have six in my living room, five in my kitchen, three in my master bedroom, one in each of my bathrooms. So I'll, I'll put, you know, a, a whole bar in each room of Scentsy. And then if I have any warmers left, I'll find a vendor wax that will kind of complement it and I'll like start using up my vendor wax there. Um, so thank you so much for sticking it out and watching with me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite scent was that you warmed this week. For me, I would have to say um, Bonfire Beach was one of my favorites and probably Ella Water and Ivy and maybe the Thunderstorm and Ocean Combo when we were having a lot of rain. It was just fabulous in my house. So thank you so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye.